Hello, good day everyone. This is a basic tutorial on how to use Nextivo 1 application on your computers. Right now I'm using Windows as my computer and um, there's a preferred version. If you are one of the users, you can either use uh, the mobile, I mean the desktop version or the browser version. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use the desktop version. Okay, so to get this started, just type into your Google and search for getting started with Nextiva 1 or go to directly to this link, which I'm going to paste in the description. And um, all you have to do is go to nextiva.com, log in, and on the top right corner, uh, enter your credentials. And what's good thing about this one is you can download a version for Windows and the Mac OS if you're going to use the desktop version of the phone. You can import contacts, you can start connecting with uh, by managing calls, starting a video call, creating rooms, integrating your calendar, file management, etc. If you have any questions, you can always chat the support here as long as you have a Nextiva account. All right, getting started with the phone application here. I have here Nextiva 1 and I'm logged in as one of the users. Let's start discussing the ones on the left. Here's the left section. You can minimize and maximize this one. This would include all communications from calls and then messaging. If you would like to see all communications, it's a combination of uh, the text messages as well, outgoings and incoming calls. If you would just like to filter the calls only, just click on it. Do the same with messaging. And it will appear at the middle. It may take a while to load depending on your uh, internet connections. The same goes for messaging. See, these are all the phone numbers that I have messaged earlier. This one was sent 12.06 p.m. to this phone number. I sent a test message. If you would like to do something like that, just click on this phone number. You can continue communicating with that contact. So for example, if I'm going to send another message, sending another test message, and then hit send, it will go to their personal phone. At the moment, this contact isn't one of my contacts or inside my contacts list. You can add this one as a new contact. Or if you would like to replace a phone number, add this one to an existing contact. There, that's the contacts information. You can also make a call from here just by clicking the call button. Okay, let's go back to calls. It should load properly right now. And from here, you can uh, see all the outgoing and the incoming calls. Right now I'm seeing outgoings from this phone number to up to here. This is kind of like your call history. All right. And if you would like to filter, you can use the ones that are under unread or all call types say, did you receive the call? Did you miss any call or voicemail outgoing? So uh, another is under all contacts, you can either uh, filter by business or by teammates, by teams, or unsaved. Also with the date range, if you would like to see all the calls that were made today, all you have to do is click on today, or from yesterday, or from this week, so on and so forth. Next, under team collaboration, under favorites, all you have to do is, uh, for example, if you have a contact or a team member, you can mark them as a favorite using the star icon. So if I'm going to click on, say, uh, this phone number and uh, if you'd like to favorite this member or should I say contacts or teammate let's uh, look for a teammate here the teammate is on the right and I have here teammates see all you have to do is click on the stars and they will be um, placed here the same with rooms if you would like to have rooms with uh, your colleagues from the right here it's like a huddle room. So if you would like to have a, uh, an urgent meeting, all you have to do is uh, click on them and they will go here. And from there you can start a group call, a video call or a messaging, uh, an exchange of messaging. And for team chats, the same goes here. If you would like to add more contacts or your team members, just put them here. Start a new team chat, for example. Search a team member, I would say um, someone with the name Charles and they will come up and they would be added here as well. So that's it for the left pane. If you, if you have any questions, just uh, type it down below. And uh, 
you could also, if you would like to go back from the previous list, all you have to do is click on communications, and um, that's it. So on the top right corner, you can see here the make a call button, the notifications, and then an icon for your account. All you have to do is click on the call button here to make a call, type in the phone number, say 288-2749, uh, that's just a random random number. It's not one of your contacts. And then hit call. That's it. And for notifications, somehow if you are away from the phone and someone somebody contacted you, all you have to do is check on them. See, I have notifications from this phone number ending with 5669. It's a missed call. You can call them back just by clicking on it. Also for voicemail, if you receive the voicemail from this phone number, you can just click on it as well. Or either you could also add them as a contact. So that's for it for notifications. And on the right here, the right pane here is uh, would be your contacts. At the moment, all you have is teammates. Teammates would be there by default as long as you're in the same Nextiva account. So for example, if you uh, purchase a Nextiva account from Nextiva and there are, uh, say, five team members, uh, automatically you'll have five uh, teammates under your account. But if you would like to add a business contact, that will be the contacts from which you've dialed manually. And of course, all contacts would be a combination of your team members and all contacts. Next is the calendar. You can schedule meetings from here or a reminder. All I have to do is click on the plus sign and then enter the, ta uh, the meeting name, for example, um, collaboration meeting there set a date and you can have its uh, recurrence for example it's going to be a one time meeting a weekly meeting or a monthly meeting just set the time enter the room enter the participants the participants would be either your team members or contacts the details and then hit create and also next is the attachments or the files you can attach files here you can also uh, put recordings here or you can also have recordings here you can download from it and if you have links were pasted from con previous conversations it's going to come up here okay at the moment i don't have any uh, but it's going to come up here also with the, sa with the same with the attachment just download them next is integrations here um it's uh if you would like to sync your google calendar for the with the calendar of nextivo one you can do that too so just click connect Click Connect for Outlook as well, Google Contacts, the same, also for Office 365. And finally, if you have further questions, all you have to do is click on the question mark um, on how to get started, how to use this phone, how to onboard with Nextiva, how to share your ideas, for example, if you have comments. Also, if you, have a, if you would like to see support videos and articles, if you uh, have trouble using the phone as well, you can go here or of course, uh, the most convenient is chat with support so that you can have an immediate uh, answer to your questions. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching.